Here we are at the Waterford Speed Bowl, July 25th. Car number 52, ADP Rivet, is starting in the third pole position. Top 10 finisher in points, qualifying for the third position. We're off to a typical start. Car 52 had tire changes at the last minute. Crew Chief Lane Bells decided to put on a fresh pair of tires on the right. And we seem to be holding our position here in the first couple of laps. Driver Sean Karen is normally having explosive turns out of turn two and three. Right now he seems to be somewhat explosive, but not as quick as he's been in past weeks. Uh, we're holding position here, looks like we're in fourth now. Car number six on the outside has also been in the top 10 finishing. Car number 93 was very loose in the warmups, but it seems to be on track right now. Behind car 52 is car 50 which has been a contender every week and is right on our tail, moving along with us in, in tow there, it almost seems. Uh, here we are, Karen is moving, looks like trying to get that inside track on number 93, hoping for an opening there. Come on, Sean. Six cars right side by side on the outside, and the number 50 is holding right on our tail. ADP Rivet car number 52 is moving along on turn four now. We don't seem to have that pop as soon as we come out of the turns. We seem to be holding speed, but we don't seem to have that explosive shot as soon as we come out of that turn. Uh, might be pushing a little bit. The crew chief Blaine Bell seems to think that the car is not quite take him over there. Uh, tuned as good as he would like it. Uh, Last minute tire change, he was hoping would add a little bit more track, but we don't seem to be loose, we just don't seem to have that extra uh, power when we come out of that turn. Although right there, we seem to have picked up a little bit, uh, but we're still in the pack. Uh, the leader of, uh, is still out in front of us. It looks like he's opened up a three or four car length distance. Uh, we're right there. Sean is trying to get that inside line and get past that car number 93, which we have done. Sean has now taken over. Uh, looks like we're in a solid second place. If he can hold on, we'll, we'll try and pick up some ground here. Car 52, the ADP rivet car is... Oh, we seem to be have slipped to, to the little outside there, and car number 50 is sneaking inside of us. Uh, crew Chief Lane Bells wanted uh, Karen, the driver, to stay on that inside track, but it looks like car 50 has just caught that inside spot and taken over second place. ADP rivet car 52 with Sean Karen, the driver, is now in the third position, and the number three is now inching inside of us. Uh, Sean is going to have to do his job here to get back inside as we come into turn four. Oh. Let's watch that again. We're having turn four here. Karen in car number 52 is in third place, but look at number three, just nose right into the side of us, trying to get on the inside there on that turn as we watch it again. Ooh, it's a tough call here for rough riding. Car number three is going to be put in the back for rough riding. As we restart the race, car 52, ADP Rivet, Sean Karen is now in the back of the pack. And behind us is car number three. That was called for rough riding and put in the back. Uh, penalized points will come up later in the week. Uh, we're going to have to move a long way to get back to where we were in the third position here. But car 52, Karen is now moving on the outside. It seems to be gaining a little speed. I'm sure Karen is a little, oh, let's not say a little, let's say he's a lot upset about that car number three uh, coming into the side of him on turn four there. Actually, it was turn three. Uh, here we are catching car number four. Um, Christina Cunliffe in an ADP rivet sponsored car, a uh, purple car on the outside. Uh, Karen seems to be moving on the inside, gaining some positions here, moving up. We have a few laps to go, there seems to be four laps to go, and Karen trying to jockey himself into position to pick up some uh, points. Uh, we are within the top ten point leaders, and certainly we want to finish this race and get as many points as we can to stay in the top ten. And Karen has moved up from the 15th position to number ten. Uh, want to continue here. It seems to be past car number four on the, uh, on the inside track. Uh, 
can't really tell if the tires are helping the situation. We seem to be staying in the race, but not accelerating as much as we have in the past few weeks on the track. Uh, Karen is still uh, holding that position. Uh, now the number three is moving up on the outside of Karen. Uh, Sean keeping his patience here, realizing that he is in the top 10 points leaders and he wants to stay there and gain some ground here, so he's not going to do any, uh, anything crazy with that part number three. Him now. Uh, we have a few laps to go. And obviously, we're not going to get up into the top 10 position, but we will finish the race at this point and gain as uh, many points as we can to keep our total there. Car number 52, the ADP Rivet Mini Stock Mustang driver Sean Karen, uh, running here on July 25th at the Waterford Speed Bowl 2009. Uh, Three eighths mile track, Asheville. Uh, it's about 7 30 at night. Track seems to be cooled down, and that, that, that may be some of the problems. We were running 17 seven times prior to the race starting. Uh, we've got to be up in the 17 sixes, cut that time a little bit, and that's what Blaine Bell's tried to do by putting on that new set of tires just before the race started. Uh, here we go, just a couple of laps to go. Sean Karen, car number 52, ADP Rivet car, uh, gaining some ground left the tail runners in the back, but as we get close to finishing, Karen is going to move up and get a couple of spots uh, ahead of the back of the pack uh, after being spun out there in that turn four by rough riding penalties being dealt to car number three. Uh, we're going to finish the race in one piece.